basically this is where we're at on this thing uh haven't made a video for a while like always but um half of the way of the steering done just need to cut this rod and weld them together um i don't know if i showed this in the last video but got the pulley mounted clutch mounted and we got the jack shaft mounted now with the jack shaft we took a uh, little hub from a wheel put that on there Put this brace on here, going down here. And the space room between the sprocket and the pulley. And then we got two pillars coming up down here and a brace coming over here, which more than enough support. And then we got the rear sprocket there. Just need some uh, shaft collars. Got a good belt for it. Phone always goes off while I'm making videos. And then we're probably going to run a little arm coming up off of this back to a spring, pulling it back up. Then you're going to put in a little uh, clutch stop. And then we got these tires on it. You got to put high speed bearing, bearings in them. But, um,. Yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. Hey guys, so what I'm doing right now is you see jack shaft's gone. Well, just for a little bit. And you see in here there's no um like race or anything for the bearing to sit in. So these bearings just want to push in and out. So what I'm going to do is I'm drilling these little holes right here just after the bearing and then I'm going to stick these washers in there inside of here weld it down through these two holes so that way the bearing can't push in. Got the jack shaft and chain on. It's a little bit floppy but <clears throat> And this, we got a problem. Bust it off. I'm gonna try and see if I can run the motor without it in. If not, I'm gonna have to take it off, drill it out and tap it and put a bigger bolt in it. But, oh well, let's see what we can do. Alright, well, you can see the holes on here don't line up very good. That's because I drilled them out and made them longer. That way I can have some adjustability in the motor. I still got to tweak that a little bit. And you see I got a belt on there for now and chain and sprocket all there. And I made my own locking collars. Still got to make a couple more, but um... Basically, my idea for this is, as you can see, with the clutch all the way up, the belt's still loose. Well, my plan is to take this idler pulley and bolt it stationary down like that. That way... something a little bit like that and as you can see the tanks off I had to do uh, some valve work and uh, make a new gasket for the carburetor because it wasn't running and now it runs so one more step plus uh, the steering still gonna put in braces there weld up that with a brace and uh, finish welding all these joints.